coffee with Liv Bringing you together a chance I get Shout outs and tributes and what you're snacking on Liv Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever it is that you are. Welcome to Coffee with Liz. I, of course, am Liz. Um, my coffee's not here yet, so that's okay. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, a lot of people talking. Uh, my goodness, Mr. Bernie Sanders made the, uh, made the rounds. <laughs> he was, oh my goodness. That meme has got to be everywhere. That meme is everywhere you look and... Um, because Bernie was rocking his mittens, I put these on today. <laughs> these are my Canadian Olympic mittens. Right on, right on. Um, you know what? Show me your mittens. Send me a, send me a, um, send me a picture of your mittens. I'm really, really curious. <laughs> Just want to say, I know I look kind of like El Geco today, but, um, I, uh, I got this new headset. It's, um, it's not the best. It's not the best. I mean, this is COVID and, you know, I really, really couldn't get out. So, um, wasn't really able to have a look at this, but, uh, yeah, this is the headset for today. It's, um, not what I wanted. So yeah, that's what these are. Um, yeah, kind of very obtrusive, but, um, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I am wearing today. And you know what? I just noticed that the, uh, the studio lights are not on, um, they're not on in the studio today. So uh, I will definitely, I'm going to have to do a BRB if I can find my screen. Um, where is that? Where's my BRB? All right. I'm going to BRB for like a couple seconds. I'm going to turn the lights on uh, in the studio because it'll look a lot better. So I will be right back. All right. I hope that is, uh, I think it looks better already, but, um, yeah, my goodness. Um, so if you are, if you are joining me, uh, this morning for the very first time, thank you so very much for joining. Get ready to have a heck of a show. Um, every other Tuesday or sorry, every other Sunday, I chat with a uh, YouTube personality from anywhere on the planet. And today we're going to be talking to Random Island Norm just a little bit, uh, just a little bit longer. Let me fix this. This is all, oh my goodness. <sighs> Let's fix this. There you go. That's a bit better. Oh my goodness. <gasps> wow. You know what? Do I need to start from the beginning again? <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> oh my goodness. All right. My coffee apparently is brewing right now. It's brewing. Uh, oh my gosh. It's like a little discombobulated over here today. <laughs> oh my goodness. So every, every other Sunday I sit down and have a chat with a YouTube personality who can be somebody that likes metal detecting, magnet fishing, gold prospecting, bottle digging, coin roll hunting, you name it. I will chat with that person. So right on, right on. Before, before I ask Norm to come on in, I need to say hello to everyone. And as I'm doing that, please take like two seconds, hit the like button on this stream. It not only helps the stream to rank a little bit higher, but just one day we might be suggested on someone's um, homepage. And how cool would that be? That would be like tremendous. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, let's, let's say hello to everybody in the chat because if you weren't out there watching, I, I'd be talking to no one and I'm 
might not even be doing this. Uh, uh, once again, thank you all for joining me. The lovely Linda Wallace front and center. <laughs> thank you, Linda. Gabriel Barlow, also in the house. Gabriel shared some news um, with, uh, with us today in the chat. Gabriel has COVID. He has it, um, I guess I, he has it mildly. Um, so Gabriel, my goodness, um, rest up. Wow. I, you know, they keep telling us that kids aren't supposed to get COVID, but they are. Um, Gabriel, totally rest up and please take care of yourself. Uh, the Rebel Digger is in my house. Thank you, Rebel Digger. Um, Mally Man, I'm in 24. Also front and center, Mayor Video, Marlon is here as is Napoleon Bonaparte, the history nerd. <laughs> I think my hat's a little crooked. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Monk Cheetah. Right on, right on. Uh, thank you for joining me today. The DF Digger. The DF Digger has been educating us on his last couple videos of how to use Google Earth to kind of plot your finds so that uh, you can remember or you can go back to a certain area and see what it is that you found where. Um, if you have not checked out DF Digger, check out his two recent videos. Um, really, really um, very educational and something that as a metal detectorist is always a good thing to have. Uh, who else is in my house today? Ozzy Darren. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ozzy. I do appreciate that. Uh, Peterson PP Metal Detecting says um, hello to everyone from the Czech Republic. Oh my goodness, right on, right on. We are truly, Connect Nation is a worldwide community, worldwide, and I love it. <laughs> right on, Czech Republic, uh, welcome. Who else is in my house this morning? West Coast Gold Prospecting. Remember I said there were gold prospectors? Yeah, there are. There are. I just don't say things for the sake of saying things. Paul B. also in the house. Thank you. Southern Relics is here. Um, no, 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 no. Let's see. Um, Random Island Norm is already, already in the chat. I will be calling him up in just a few minutes. Uh, the Dirt Pirates went out digging yesterday and got a bit, oh, got bit by a dog. Oh my goodness. He's going to carry pepper spray from now on. Yeah, I actually had... I had a run in with two massive Rottweilers. They didn't bite me or anything, but like they came to my face and they were growling and I could feel, I could feel their breath. This happened uh, this summer. So yeah, so I carry, um, I also carry pepper spray. Um, and just remember in the very, very least, um, you have a shovel. I, I know that's a little bit draconian, but um, we need to be safe. So yeah, pepper spray is a good idea. Um, I don't know who else. 508 Magnets here today. It says, hello, everyone. Um, hello to 508. Frederick Romano in my chat. Thank you very much, Frederick. Uh, Steve Shepard also in the chat. Ohio River History here as well. Um, I don't know. Um, my goodness. Uh, what happened to my chat? Something happened to my chat. I don't know. Something happened. Uh, all right. Well, I think according to something happened in my chat. I don't know um, if I have missed saying hello to you. And like I said, it's very, very possible. If I miss saying hello to you, please put an at digging Canuck in the chat to get my attention on this side. So um, like I said, uh, today, today, my very special guest is Norm, Random Island Norm. So I am going to ask, I'm going to ask Norm to, um, to hit the link and then, um, that I provided and then, uh, yeah, I'll get them all fixed up on the screen and uh, then we'll be talking to Norm. Sorry. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. So if you have any questions for, um, for Norm, you can put them into the chat. Um, at Random Island Norm, or you can even do uh, an at Digging Canuck, and I will ask Norm what needs to be asked. So right on, right on. And um, I'm not sure if I said it, but I might have mentioned it, but um, we will be doing the um, 
a chat with every other Sunday uh, from now on. So uh, next Sunday will be just a regular Coffee with Liz. And then the following week will be a chat with. And I will be announcing the guest next week. So right on, right on. Um, and Ozzy Darren says, what's up, Liz? What's up, Ozzy? <laughs> Um, no, 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 no. All right. So yeah, while I wait for um, while I wait for Norm to uh, enter the chat, like I said, that um, <laughs> that Bernie Sanders meme is all all over social media. Um, oh my goodness, there are some there are some uh, really really funny. <laughs> there are some really funny memes. I actually post posted one, and the Canadians will know this. I posted one with Bernie on the set of the Friendly Giant. Um, like I said, I don't think they had that. Um, I don't think they had the friendly giant down in the States. Um, uh, let me bring Norm in. Hang on, Norm. Uh, there you are. Let me make, let me, uh, put you front and center here. Let's move you over a little bit. Let's move you over. Gotta make, okay. hang, gotta make it look good, Norm. <laughs> All right. And it's, you know, the people uh, are, are uh, people out there don't see what I'm doing, but I'm actually putting him uh, front and center. So let's, all right, let's do this. Oh my goodness. Position, eh? <laughs> oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Random Island Norm. Oh, Norm, I'm going to have to move you over. Hang on one sec. I want this to be really, really nice. There you go. Whoa. There. Oh, what is going on there? Wow. 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 There you go, Norm. There you go. Norm, good morning to you. Hello. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. Awesome. Fantastic. Awesome. What um what is the weather like on Random Island this morning? Actually it's uh sunny. It's beautiful out. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, we were on the weather network down here. We saw that um they were telling us that you were you were getting a snowstorm. Uh, yeah, we got one there uh, a couple of days ago, only dropped like uh, 20 centimeters of snow, which was the first time this winter we actually got like a, a actual snowstorm. Wow. Compared to last winter, we we actually had like three feet of snow by this time. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> it is um, GTA, GTA Davis in the house, uh, Relic Hunting South Texas also in the house. Now, Norm, for people who, who may not know uh, who you are, just briefly tell us a little, uh, just a little bit, of, a little bit of a background where exactly it is that, um, that you are located. Okay, well, I'm uh, located on Randomong, which is a, uh, an island in Newfoundland. It is the second largest island in Newfoundland. Mm. Fun fact. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, mm -hmm. you you have you have a bit of an accent, Norm. <laughs> that that's true. That's true. That's, uh, I gotta say, when I went to um, the people, or I guess the the people from the from the east that that have accents are, I would say, uh, being from Ontario, to me is uh, the Newfoundland accent, and then people from Nova Scotia, I think, have a uh, have an interesting accent as well. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, the people in Nova Scotia that live in, uh, I think, Cape Breton, they got more, uh, a, more of a Newfoundland accent than, uh, I guess, uh, the rest of uh, Nova Scotia because Cape Breton is close to Newfoundland. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, just uh, it's it's definitely it's it's definitely a different accent than Ontario. <laughs> it is it is indeed, yeah. And uh, where at least I, I live in rural Newfoundland, so. Uh, uh. The accent is more thicker in rural areas than it is in, say, St. John's, which is the, the capital of Newfoundland, right? Yes, the yes. More urban. It's actually pretty much the only urban area in uh, all of Newfoundland. <laughs> really? My goodness. Uh, I want to, I just want to say uh, Domus 29, Bienvenue, um, Not Ray Johnny's in the house, Outdoorsy Gal. Um, we've had a bunch of people uh, join us today. And if you join me, then yeah, this is Random Island Norm. Um, now, Norm, um, I, uh, I'm going to totally plead ignorance on this, but I actually thought if you look at a map of, of the eastern, uh, the east coast of Canada, um, there is Newfoundland, um, which I thought was where it says Labrador. And I thought the island that is just south of there was actually Labrador. And I thought Newfoundland 
was on the mainland, but um, but no, it's actually the opposite. Um, it's the opposite, is it not? It is the opposite. Yeah, because uh, Newfoundland is the arm portion, Labrador is the the mainland portion of the province. I did not know that. So Random Island would be off of the big island of Newfoundland. Correct. Okay. Now, are you, um, are you, how do you get to the, how do you get to the mainland? Like, how do you, how would you get to Newfoundland from Random Island? Oh, there's a, a causeway, a bridge uh, that connects uh, Random Island to Newfoundland. Basically. Oh, okay. Okay. So you're not, it's not like it's, you have to only, take, it, take the boat yeah, it's or anything. Only like, yeah, it's only like a, the bridge is only about, I say, 140 feet long, 200 feet long, something like that. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's uh, not a okay. very big bridge. Oh, uh, okay. Causeway. Oh, uh, okay. I got you now. All right. Mm. I got you now. So I, I have an idea now. Um, so what, what actually got you started in, in metal detecting? Well, what got me started in metal detecting was, uh, well, I guess uh, my uncle w would often talk about hard treasure buried in uh, a mm. mysterious place on Random Island called uh, Random Harbor. And in the 80s, he would uh, actually go look for it with his own detectors back then, right? And when he would talk about it, it kind of got me interested. Uh -huh. I, I, I thought to myself, maybe if I get a metal detector, <laughs> I'll be able to find that pirate treasure, right? <laughs> Oh, so so there. So in the history of Newfoundland is there's there's pirates. Oh, there's all sorts of pirate legends here in Newfoundland, ah. and like and even on Random Island, like in a place called Random Harbor, where there's a, apparently pirate treasure buried. Now I don't know if there's any truth to that, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe if I ever get a chance to go there, mm. I'll maybe i'll find it who knows <laughs> wow that's actually pretty cool um we, early on you said you you started kind of in the 80s um you must have you must have been a wee lad back then <laughs> oh no no i'm only 28 uh, <laughs> no my, my uncle has uh, uh started well actually had a uh, metal typer in the 80s and he would uh look for par treasure and that uh, -huh. uh in, in this place called Random Harbor, right? Okay. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> so when, when, what was the first detector? Like back then, you said when you first started uh, detecting, what was the first detector you had? Well, I first started detecting uh, around eight years ago. Okay. And the first detector I had was actually a really old Micronta 3000. And it was only a cheap uh, detector, right? Is that, is that the, uh, a... the Radio Shack brand? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, when I, I bought it online, right, and uh, when I uh, got it, first place I went to, uh, I knew for a hangout spot was in the uh, area behind the house, and uh, I went there and I uh, found a couple of pennies and right after that, I sort of became <laughs> to the hobby, right? And then I uh, upgraded to a uh, a bounty hunter Lone Star. Ah, okay. And with yes. That, and with that detector, I found uh, my oldest coin, which uh, w which was my oldest coin for like seven years. I only managed to beat it two years ago. I found a 1856 French centine wow. uh, near a wharf post, not that far away from my house. Wow. Wow. So. Which actually really got me into the hobby. Yeah, I, <laughs> I guess that. so. <laughs> I get, that kind of justifies that you're doing the right thing and that there are things to find. Oh, there's many, many things to fall in here in Newfoundland, and, and I'm random on it, so that oh, random on has quite a bit of history, right? I <laughs> guess so. I, you got pirates, you probably have the European settlers, or uh, the European navigators, I guess, as well. Um, there's probably tons of shipwrecks, too. Oh, uh, yeah, I dare say there is, but uh, a lot of the shipwrecks, I say, uh, that, well, sank in, in random on probably not well documented, but uh... I'm pretty sure there is quite a few <laughs> wow right on right on um when when you first started um detecting did you just pick up the detector and go or did you know that there were channels maybe on uh, on youtube i mean you said this was like eight years ago um how did you learn did, did you watch other people oh yeah definitely i watched a whole bunch of like a uh, youtube youtube detectorists so I, so I can get like a grasp on the hobby maybe learn a few things right mm-hmm Right on, right on. Yeah. Now, now, 
what what made you or what was the reasoning behind creating your YouTube channel? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I created the YouTube channel because I wanted to like uh, share my metal technique experience and well, of course, we've kind of moved on to like exploration and videos and whatnot. But yeah, I wanted to share my uh, metal technique experience with the people on the internet. So Right on. And of course, the, the scenery of Newfoundland, which is absolutely gorgeous and all yeah. that stuff, right? So Yeah. I, I actually, I got to say that um, I, I, I thought that I thought that Newfoundland would be more like um, like Prince Edward Island, uh, but but it's not. It is. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's a lot more rugged than uh, Prince Edward Island. Yeah, we have a, a lot of like rugged uh, coastline, right? Exactly. Not not mm. not at all what I expected. But I got to say, watching mm. your videos has uh, has kind of opened my eyes, and that and I think that's the best thing about metal detecting, and especially watching channels from other locations. Is that you just you kind of get to explore the world oh yeah that, that's true right on. that's what's uh that's that's great about the the youth the, the melt and the youtube community oh exactly you see uh, d different fonts from different places like uh you know yes is it in newfoundland we have a well, i know it's like when i Started the when I upgrade the from my bounty hunter to my uh Tesoro Lobo, which I used for four years where I got my simplex basically. Mm -hmm. I got a few detectives already, mm -hmm. kind of got the addicted to collecting detectives, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. that's the second pastime a metal detector says collecting detectors. Oh, oh, yeah, I know it's, it's, it's addicting, right? <laughs> yeah, but it, but anyway, uh, in Newfoundland, we had, we, we had our own coins, right. Before 1949, when we joined Canada, we had our own currency, like Canada, like the United States and Britain, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But I realized, like, uh, almost every old place I've been to, I've found uh, a Newfoundland large scent and also Canadian large scents. On the water, so many of those uh, wow. on, like, house sites and fields. But yes. there's ponds. Almost every place I've been to, i found those uh, coins. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Hey, Chrissy the Odorsey gal said, um, can you ask Norm if you moose hunt or go fishing no i uh, i don't i don't moose hunt but uh in newfoundland we uh have a recreational cod fishery for people to go out and get their codfish to eat basically oh yeah i go to uh, fishing during the summer with my uncle uh -huh. for you know a few weeks while while the, the food fishery is open right ah okay okay mm. do, do you have moose there are there moose in... oh we, we Oh yeah, there, there's a uh, there's there was at one time a lot of moose in Ranmon, but uh, now there's not so many. But I think they're kind of like they're coming back because uh, just a couple weeks ago I I saw well two moose. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I think I think they're starting to come around uh, again. They're now maybe because people are not hunting them as much. Well, that's <laughs> that's mm. true. Uh, MS yeah. detectorists in the house. Uh, thank you for joining. I do appreciate that. So, so Norm, I'm going to take you back a couple years here. All right, I'm going to take you back to your very, very first YouTube video, which was in 2017. Now, um, yep, you were you were digging in an old potato garden, and there was like a lot of snow on the ground. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the potato garden on that field. And uh, I was surprised the the amount of things I found on that tail ground. I found, a, of course, a new plant large scent, I believe, and uh, I think a new plant a small scent. Which which is harder to find, the large one or the small? Um, actually, I think the small scent is because I I believe I found a lot more large scents than uh, small scents. And of course, large scent is older than the the new plant small scent. Ah, okay. All right. Because New, Newfoundland small, or, or Newfoundland small penny was uh, mentioned in 1938 to 1947. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. And uh, I... the Larsen uh, was uh, mentioned 1865 to 1936. Mm, okay. So yeah, there's a lot more years for the Larsen, right? So. Mm hmm Yeah. Probably why there's so many around. I would think. <laughs> yes, I, I I would agree. I would agree with that. Hey, Joel, drum a detect in the house. Thank you, Joel, for joining. Mm. Now, Norm, the weather in Newfoundland is not 
like the weather in southern Ontario. It could get like really, really brutal. Are you able to detect the whole year? No. Actually, uh, this, this is kind of like a strange year because it uh, seems like winter was kind of late coming in. Mm. But uh, before, I mean, as uh, soon as like uh, right after November, the ground would freeze up. You'll get mm. snow, and we and I had to wait till like uh, April or May before I, I guess to go with detecting again. Wow! But you you do other things to keep you busy. Like there's no real off time for you. You're you, you do get out there, right? Oh oh yeah, totally yeah. I mean, when I'm not doing melt titan videos, I'm probably going taking you guys on a walk, film my walking adventures or with my buddy in his uh, Mahindra Rocks or Side by Side Rig, right? Mm -hmm. So I made already a few videos on my channel. Yes. They're <laughs> quite popular. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, you, you posted a lot of videos where you were out in a blizzard. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I want... <laughs> oh, man, that, that was brutal. That was... I, I just wanted to do that to show uh, the viewers uh, how <laughs> terrible the weather was, right? <laughs> yeah, the yeah, I got to say the faces that you were making were just were hilarious. <laughs> oh, man, it's just like uh, I was being sandblasted by uh, the, the icy blizzard, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's <laughs> it it's terrible. like you said, though, if you don't get out, you're going to pretty much be indoors from, like you said, November till maybe May. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I, I'm the kind of person, I, I love the outdoors, right? I mean, I go to the side almost every day, even when the weather may not be in my favor. I'll still try to go out and go for a walk, right? I'm, yeah. I try to be very active. Yeah. And that that's, mm. you you can you can tell that um, by watching your um, your videos. And I just want to say, uh, people out there watching, <laughs> check out Random Island Norm. Uh, different, he, he detects, like I said, uh, the... the the conditions are sometimes harsh, um, but the stuff he finds, he finds some cool stuff and it's stuff that perhaps um, mm. other people don't find uh, where they are. Like those, when those new, when you pull a Newfoundland large scent and uh, you clean it, wow, that's pretty. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> coin. It, it, it's the same size as the Canadian large scent, right? Obviously you got different design on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I got to say, oh, mm. my goodness, I would absolutely I don't know what the odds are of somebody in Ontario digging anything that to do with Newfoundland. But I would I think I would fall on the floor if I dug a Newfoundland coin. Oh, yeah. And especially because there, there's such low interest rate because Newfoundland has a small population when it was, it was its own country. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Just curious if anyone in the chat who is not in Newfoundland has dug a Newfoundland coin because because oh yeah i'd love to hear it <laughs> oh so would i because that is like you said uh mm. think about think about the mintage i would love to know if anybody has dug one. Oh yeah now norm we t we've talked about the winters now what are the summers like on a random island the summers can be absolutely gorgeous but uh some we do get a bit of rain during the summer months really yeah like enough to cause swampy swampy conditions there or uh yeah <laughs> but, i mean it, usually during the spring spring like summer we, we get rain but during the spring and fall we get a uh, a lot more rain <laughs> yeah is is the transition from the winter to the spring like almost instantaneous or does it take a while or do you notice one day it was like blizzard and the next day it's like we can go outside now Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that's pretty much uh, Newfoundland weather uh, 101. <laughs> I mean, it can change around a, a whim, right? Uh, Just like that. <laughs> yeah. What about temperature-wise? And uh, what, like, what is an average temperature for you in, in, uh, in the summer? I mean, it can uh, go up to like 25, 30 degrees at times. Okay. All right. That's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, it's uh, pretty uh, stay consistent in like the, the 20... Oh, Norm froze. Steve Shepard in the chat says we might have lost Norm. Um, Steve Shepard in the oh. chat says that Steve got a New Brunswick token, but no, nothing from Newfoundland yet. Do you ever find uh, Do you ever find coins from some of the other uh, provinces, like the eastern provinces? Uh, I actually have. Yeah, um, 
actually uh, last year I found a uh, New Brunswick um, large scent. Oh. In the, the, in Lorburn, I don't know. I may have good many videos of this place called Lorburn. It's a the resale community. It only was a small place. Maybe it had a population of sixty at its peak, but there's a there's a, so much stuff to be found there. And yeah, last year I found a New Brunswick large scent. Mm. And I, actually, and a few years ago I found a 1862, I believe Nova Scotia halfpenny, uh, not that far away from my house. Wow. You know what? Yeah, you know, I think I need to start giving a second look at coins from the East Coast. I think I do. Oh, yeah, because I, I, I uh, there are still colonies, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, PEI, and, of course, Newfoundland. Uh, they all minted their own coins. Wow. That's, that and could of course, be... Newf I'm sorry, Renard. Newfoundland minted... Oh, yeah, Newfoundland minted the, their own coins long as I was supposed to be, be I went from a colony to dominion like Canada, right? Yeah. And then after that, we joined Canada. <laughs> <laughs> the dominion of Newfoundland. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, lo I love the flag of the dominion of Newfoundland. It's my favorite flag. Oh, right on. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Good stuff. So are, have you always been in Newfoundland? Born and, born and raised in Newfoundland? Born and raised. Right yep. on, right on, <laughs> right on. Now, uh, Kevin's lost treasure in the house. Kevin, hello. Now, do you take any offense um, um, for Newfie jokes or anything like that? Oh, not really. I mean, we're, we're, we're pretty much used to Newfie jokes, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, there's, there's for the non-Canadians um, in the chat, um, yeah, uh, the rest the rest of Canada kind of uh, should I even say this? Well, what the heck? Uh, the rest of Canada, um, and I don't know. It was perhaps when I was growing up, but then again, I'm dating myself, and that was quite some time ago. Mm. Um, we would always we would always crack Newfie jokes or Newfoundland jokes, but um, yeah, not the case. Not the case. Mm. Newfoundland does not deserve uh, does not deserve to be made fun of whatsoever. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, when it's like tongue in cheek, oh yeah, I mean, go ahead. Yeah. We, as Newfoundlander, we, we Newfoundlanders, uh, we can, most of us can take a joke. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we can also crack jokes ourselves, right? <laughs> right, not normal. Oh, I, I can only imagine the jokes that you guys <laughs> tell about <laughs> the other people in the country. Um, oh now... yeah, I mean, there's mainlander <laughs> jokes kicked around. Yeah. There's that <laughs> mainlander jokes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Canada is a, Canada is a huge, huge country, um, and yeah, there's there's a pretty good chance that most of the people from the West Coast will will never visit um, the East Coast. And likewise, what's what's the furthest uh, what's the furthest west you've uh, visited, Norm, in Canada? I did not. I've been to Ontario uh, a few times, so that's uh, recently where my mother's from. So. Ah, mm hmm. Oh, right mm. on. Good yep. stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Mm -hmm. You um you said earlier that um you you um you dug your oldest uh your oldest coin was an eighteen uh oh my goodness an eighteen uh, uh let's just well, as of today as of today what is the oldest um what is the oldest Newfoundland coin that you have dug Newfoundland the oldest the oldest you can get i uh i think a, yeah a few years ago i went onto a garden a old a field on the side of the road here in random on and I didn't really found much but i went the the field was kind of like surrounded by trees went uh, close to a tree line and i found an 1865 newfoundland large scent wow. now remember 1865 is the first year uh newfoundland coins were minted really wow yep. wow right on right on what about um do you find many non-Newfoundland coins in Newfoundland? Oh, yes, yes. I mean, of course, we uh, found quite a bit of Canadian coins, Canadian silver, Canadian lyre tents, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, actually, wheat pennies. There's a really? ton of wheat pennies just kicking around. <laughs> I wonder why <laughs> that is. Right? Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what what um, what about foreign uh, foreign stuff? Have you found any like Spanish coins or anything like that? 
Uh, I know people who have, but uh, I personally haven't found any uh, Spanish uh, coins yet. Uh, hopefully, maybe th this year I might. If I go to old enough location, maybe I might be able to find one. Yeah. It's on my buckle list, right? Yes. <laughs> what about American coins other than those wheats? Do you find anything else? Uh, just uh, some modern American class. Uh, okay. I haven't found any. Oh, well, wait now. Actually, I found two or three Indian head pennies. Really? Really? I, here in Random On. Wow. I've only ever yeah. found two Indian head cents, and you found three. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's actually really, really cool. And every, every single one of my surprised me. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. So, so Norm... So, so oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. The, the, the Indian head pennies, because... They're the same size as a regular penny, right? Because when you pop them all, oh, that's just a penny. Then you see the Indian, and they're oh. like, wow. <laughs> right? <laughs> no kidding. Oh, as soon as you see that headdress, you're like, <gasps> oh, yeah. I mean, in one of my videos I made maybe a couple of years ago, went to a uh, abandoned settlement course here in Random Mall, and uh, I texted a, a ATV trail, which was likely a, a old horse and cart trail. Way yeah. uh, probably back in the late 1800s, and that's where mm -hmm. I found a 1898 Indian head penny. Wow, 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 wow. The Degologist has joined us, BC Treasure Trails has joined us, and we have a detector of uh, Vladimir. Vladimir, welcome to the stream. My goodness, right on, right on. Hello, my goodness, hello. we have a bunch, we have a bunch of people in the mm -hmm. chat. So, Norm, where normally do you like do you detect? schools are are there parks there uh well there is one school in random Mom, but it's not it was only uh built in the early 70s i believe but besides there is a, a park that old abandoned park i've been to a good many times with my detecting buddy we uh found a lot of pennies there now that place was also put there in the 70s mm -hmm. as well but there was a a lot of pennies a few uh, like uh, silver Canadian coins, and I also dug up a silver ring there. Oh, right on, right on. So, so yeah. where, where, generally, where is is it that you detect? Like, what's your go to place to detect? My, my go to my go to places are uh, old fields and abandoned communities, uh, like ghost towns. I guess. Yep. Because oh. uh, uh, Newfoundland got a. Uh, a lot of uh, abandoned communities, right? Abandoned settlements, and uh, and there's like there's actually a a, a nice few on Rand Mall, mostly in the eastern portion of the island. There's mm -hmm. a few abandoned communities like right. uh, Deer Harbor and Rogers Harbor and stuff like that. Now, would those, the buildings are, are... still still be there, like, or are they just like flattened? Um. Well, let's see. Uh, so, some of the buildings are still present, but they're all like collapsed down oh, okay. mm -hmm. still tell that they're buildings but the mm -hmm. because the wood hadn't like completely rot yet yes yes so you could be uh, busy for I, many many years detecting these oh, abandoned yeah, communities until the end of time basically. oh my goodness <laughs> that's wonderful norm holy smokes i'd mm. kill for some place like that mm. wow oh yeah right a, a, a nation part of Rand Mall, there was a uh, i think Two communities that were uh, was part of the resettlement program, so they were abandoned in 1967 when the resettlement program went full force, right? Uh -huh. And one place, Deer Harbor, had a population of uh, over 200. That place was abandoned, and another place called Thoroughfare had a population of around 70. That place was abandoned. Wow! And wow. they had like a long history, it's like. For example, Deer Harbor, which is my favorite place of all time. I made a <laughs> couple of videos at that place. Uh -huh. so I got family history there. Uh -huh. That place was, I think, settled in, in like eight, around 1800 and thoroughfare maybe a bit before or after that time. Mm -hmm. So there's like so much history in these places, right? Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Good to be found. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Totally. Um, so, you, so you then you you... Oh. See, it's, it's kind of hard to imagine. Uh, I'm trying to get my head around like Random Island is is pretty much a, like fields and abandoned communities and with the occasional 
would you call it a, a even a city or a town i guess oh well I, um there's a i say i believe eight communities that are present i ran on but mostly in the eastern portion they're all abandoned right ah okay okay i got you now yeah i got you so yeah, there, there's, there, yeah there's a few uh present communities uh where people still live and like <clears throat> here in Ramon, right? So. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you now. Mm -hmm. Um, what um, are you a? What do you do with the coins that you find? Like, it sounds like you have some really, really old ones. Do you um. Do you clean them? Do you put them away in a box? Do you have them like in a in a special book? What do you do with your coins? Oh, uh, wow! Well, I mean, uh, I, the large cents and uh, well, coppers I put in a tin box. And uh, the silvers I put in a little tiny treasure chest. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I also got some uh, like a large sense put in a bonder. But that was before I, put, I started putting them in, in the box because I found so many of them. I had to, really? I had no room in the bonder. Wow! I'd like yeah. to have that problem, Norm, of having to found too many yeah. large cents. <laughs> right <laughs> wow yeah no kidding wow you probably find large sense like i find like small pennies wow oh i i dare say yeah really I mean, they're they're everywhere wow uh, I, I i have a trouble wrapping my head around why there's so many like yeah. uh, i'm wondering like did, did they just like throw them away or did they lose <laughs> them like the winter and couldn't find them wow you know right <laughs> wow that's Wow, I'd love to have that problem, Norm. Seriously. Wow. I would love to have that problem. Now, Norm, yeah, you... And... I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, like, I mean, because uh, the worth of a large set back then was actually, you know, a lot more than the, what it is worth today if it existed. Yeah. Because, you know, inflation, all that stuff. I mean, it makes you wonder why people lost them, right? Because it was more valuable. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Wow, that's man, I would love to have that problem. Now, you've posted yeah. a few beach videos. What are the beaches like on Random Island? Are they like sand? Uh there's uh, a couple places where it's uh, got like sand, but mostly it's most uh, like rock, right? Mhm. Mm now, I, I when someone thinks of like an island, you think of it all being surrounded by a beach, but is, is that the case there or is it pretty much cliffs into the ocean? Uh, there's beaches, like rocky beaches, and then there's high, uh, coastline, basically. Uh, okay. All right. Have you had much success mm. detecting beaches? None at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of what, uh, I found on beaches is, uh, melted uh, aluminum, probably cans or something, like people really? chewing fires they had on the beach. <laughs> That's mostly what, what I find on beaches, unfortunately. <laughs> really? No no Spanish silver or stuff from like shipwrecks or anything like that, eh? Uh, unfortunately not. Maybe if I go to the right beach, the, that's what I might find, but uh, yeah. so far, no luck. <laughs> wow, I hope I hope you stumble upon a treasure chest one day. Oh man, that, that would make, uh, <laughs> if I ever do, uh, hopefully I got it on video. <laughs> okay, no kidding. Okay, Norm's, Norm's camera will just fall as he faints. <laughs> oh man, I'll, I'll probably go in shock. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, wow, that would actually be wonderful. Now, you also posted a couple of bottle, like bottle videos, but it was kind of like you find bottles and in a creek or, or, or stuff like that. Are there um, are there bottle dumps on Random Island? I, I dare say there are, but uh, the only bottles I ever found were in the water. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Do you have like, any interest like old in bottles? Do you have any interest in bottle digging or anything like that? Or uh, if I knew for a, a good spot, I yeah. would totally uh, check into it. Right, but so far you haven't found anything. Most of the battles I've seen were all smashed to pieces. <laughs> okay. Uh, on land, right? Yeah, yeah. What, mm. um, do, do you magnet fish? I, I tried a couple times, but I never had no luck. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was hoping like, maybe I'll find like a haul of musket or something. I had really high <gasps> uh, expectations, but wow. all I found was like a couple of like old nails and <laughs> kind of discouraged me right <laughs> right on what about gold is there gold to be found on random island in the rocks or anything like that 
Okay, I, well, I'll tell you a little history. Uh, you, you've seen the, the video where I went inside that Montel, correct? Yes, I did. Yes. Well, apparently, the reason why they... That was actually a slate, uh, part of a slate quarry, but apparently that tunnel was put there because the person who made the, established the, the, the slate quarry back in the 1860s thought there might be gold uh. in the, that hill, right? Uh. So there might very well be gold on Random on. Right. Interesting. But Interesting. I haven't found any yet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't found gold uh, in my entire eight or nine years of detecting. Oh, Hopefully well. maybe this year I'll find some. <laughs> maybe this might be your year, Norm. Um, Steve Shepard says, does Norm dive or snorkel detect? Uh, well, the only uh, like, uh, underwater detecting I had done was this year with my simplex. It was the first underwater detector that I ever had. Yeah, and that was just in a uh, local swimming hole, not that far away from my house. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, all the time was pennies there. But <laughs> made for a pretty good video. <laughs> exactly, uh, uh, water yeah. videos are really, really, uh, really, really popular. What about this year? You think you might dabble a little more in underwater stuff? Oh well, I, I know for a fact there's a well, Newfoundland has a close connection to the sea. If I can like find a uh, where old shipwreck is close yeah. to the shore, maybe that'd be a pretty cool place to like dive <laughs> random film, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Bird dog is in the house. Bird dog, welcome to the stream. And I don't think I said hello to uh, straight up metal detecting. I, I think I've neglected saying hello to you. Um, but right on, me miner is also also in the house. So right on, right on. Now, Norm, you seem to. Um, in your downtime, when you can't go metal detecting, you seem to be moving to um, like exploration. I've seen you do some tunnels and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. You got you bought a new piece of equipment this year, which I think has really upped the level of your videos. Oh yes, yeah, so that, that is uh, the was uh, the Osmo mobile. So I got the box right behind the thing. That I'm actually using it in this video. <laughs> That's uh, where I got my phone set up. To, right, right. right. You was, bought a I gimbal. That was a good idea. Yeah, you bought a gimbal. Oh yeah. Yes, it, it's a. I uh, it makes a wor world difference in my videos. Makes the shots so much more steady, and even comes with a uh, a, a tripod thing, so you can, I can film myself like detecting or mm -hmm. walking, right? Yeah, I mean, some right. of your some of your recent videos with you like taking us through the woods and stuff, rock solid stabilization. So. Um, oh yeah, yeah. as to the immersion of the video too right so uh, yeah i'm very glad i bought the uh, this well i guess it was a high-end gimbal yeah um, got like an light stick out there and you can swivel around with the analog stick which is really awesome yeah, yeah I, sh I showed my friends uh when i got there and they were like a blown away by it. <laughs> <laughs> you know oh. i was pretty blown away by it too yeah. right I mean, yeah really really, really like you totally dedicate. stepped up you totally stepped up your uh your exploring uh videos totally Totally. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, Norm, I think I got to say one of the best, one of the best exploring videos you did is you took us on and like you took the viewer um, on a walk to a um, a plane crash. The B, oh, that's, that's was it the B-36 video? Yeah. T tell us about that for the people that have not uh, watched that video yet. The, that's in the uh, up on a hill. uh Basically, there's a arm uh, between, uh, like, a, a channel of water between mainland Newfoundland and Randomong. And there's a place called uh, Nuff Cove, right? On the mainland side. That's where I, uh, in 1953, I believe, a, a B 36 or B 52 bomber, uh, American bomber, crashed during a foggy day. Oh. went right into the mountain and uh i don't know how many people uh passed away in that crash but uh yeah, it was pretty tragic so you took us uh, you took us to the actual crash site and i was totally <laughs> blown away by the fact that like it's still all there oh yeah i mean uh, a lot of pieces are just like scattered they never got covered up in mass you know it's been almost 70 years i mean yeah. just like you know very uh out in the open you actually a lot, lot of big pieces too you like you it looked like the part of the fuselage was there you you could have even have gone in there if you wanted to 
I think he did. Oh, yeah, so some of the like, larger uh, sections of the, the aircraft is still relatively intact. Yeah. There were most of it was like obliterated to pieces, right? Yeah, that was that was a heck of a video. Um, and and oh yeah, there wasn't that much, and I and it was there wasn't a lot of uh, like graffiti or or anything like that. It's like it's like you know the people, you people, <laughs> just kind of like left it alone. I I was totally surprised. I and and I think that's yeah. probably the best the your best video. Is that one? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised uh, like people have been like marked up and that because you know people like to vandalize things for some reason. I'm surprised that that was real, relatively left alone, and I think that's maybe because it's such a in a place so secluded, right? You get it's like a trail leads up to the hill, and it's quite a, quite a hike to get yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful video. If you have not um, checked out that video. Um, I don't remember the title of the video, but it involved, uh, uh, I think, a B-36 uh, crash from 1953. Really, yep. really, really cool video. Um, you find a ton of stuff. Like, you're just, you go out into the woods and you find some weird stuff. You found a big school bus once. Oh, oh yeah, the school bus. It was yeah, like an I, entire uh... school bus. Like... Yeah, that, that was a quite a quite the sign. I was I was walking back after uh, not finding a whole lot melted, and then I looked uh, and saw something yellow uh, in the, behind the tree line. I was like, "What's that?" <laughs> when I went to check it out, I was like, "Oh wow, that's a school bus." Let's go <laughs> check it out. So that basically became the video then. <laughs> yeah, it's like they just drove it there and left it. Yeah. Again, and no then, no and... vandalism, no no. Uh... Wow, you, uh, Newfoundlanders are nice people. <laughs> I mean, uh, there are some spots that is vandalized. Uh, like, for instance, uh, not that far away from the plane wreck, there's a abandoned, like, a modern site factory. And that place is, like, totally uh, vandalized. I mean, it was beat to pieces. I mean, it's structurally, it's relatively structurally intact, but mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of damage done to it because of vandals, right? Mm hmm. So there are some places, but uh, I guess uh, most of the reason because they're, they're really secluded. Yeah. And, yeah. Vandals don't want to like yeah. make the effort to go there and vandalize it. Yeah. Now, when <laughs> when you're at these some of these like really remote places, um, you ever like felt a presence or ghosts or anything like that? You ever had any paranormal activity out in the uh, in the woods of random island or anything like that? You ever felt anything? Fortunately, I have not. <laughs> but maybe if I go to an actual haunted location, maybe like <laughs> I watched some that. pretty spooky places around. Though. Really, I mean, you need to go to those, Norm. You need to go to. <laughs> oh, I, honestly, I, I would love to. <laughs> All right, I'll find out where they are and go. <laughs> yep, do a little research and pick a place and go yes. there and see what happens. Maybe stay there for a night, maybe <laughs> see a ghost or something. <laughs> that would that would be so. So cool. Now, now, Norm, oh, yeah. you you mentioned this earlier, I guess, sort of in passing. What is the deal with that Jeep that you every now and then that you uh, that Mohindra or something like that? What's the deal with that Jeep? Oh, that's uh, uh, my buddy bought that uh, a couple of years ago now, sure. And uh, I mean, it's such a unique. Uh, it's actually a side by side, right? It's, it's a recreational vehicle, but it's like it's, it's on like an old school Jeep. And when he uh, first got, I was like, "Man, I think I'll make a pretty good uh, video of <laughs> me, you know, filming our adventures in this thing." Like and you've gone behold, some interesting places with that. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, see, Newfoundland had a railway uh, years ago, right? It was a bad, uh, took off in 1988 because uh, when Newfoundland joined Canada, the, the railway went to uh, Canadian National mm -hmm. Newfoundland Railway. And that only lasted, uh, I think, 40 years under CN's control. And I guess it was too expensive to maintain. So in mm -hmm. 1988, they hauled it up. But because of that, they did that, there's a the whole track network. You can go there on the ATV or side by side now. Trip oh. From where uh, the closest place around uh, town to Rand Mall is Clarenville. You can go there all the way to Port of Bass or the end of, of uh, Newfoundland, right? And... Uh, yeah, we take we can take the track and basically go anywhere in the the Manger Rocks or if we want to. 
Mm. Now, you, you actually got that Jeep stuck once, did you not, in the snow? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. That was uh, going down a place called Deer Road. Now, Deer Road was a road that was supposed to go to Deer Harbor, but the government said it was too expensive, so they banned the project. It just leads to uh, Randmond's largest pond. So, yeah, we went down there, went down the uh, uh, old muddy trail, and unfortunately uh, got stuck <laughs> trying to get out of it. So, wow. <laughs> made, made for a pretty awesome video. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that it did. That it did. Mm. Um, mm. You, um, you, you collaborated with the, uh, the YouTube channel, uh, Digging the Rock. How, how was oh, that? Yeah. How was that? Oh, the, that was an amazing experience. Uh, I'm, I'm actually part of that group on Facebook. Ah. Uh, and I, actually, we've gotten a lot more uh, members in the past uh, couple of years. We've just got, we've got over 700 members now. But anyway, yeah, I uh, kind of like uh, talked to the owner of the group. Daryl mm -hmm. and the uh, mm -hmm. kind of made like a little group dig uh, session on the this massive field across from the Confederation Building in St. John. Uh huh. And that field consists of uh, uh, homesteads, farms, wow. in the uh, British training ground, I believe, in the sometime in the 1700s. So there's just a ton of history in this wow. big old field, right? Uh huh. Right on. And when I went out there with uh, tech, the with the, the digging the rock uh, group, yeah, I think those individuals, I think three of them showed up. Um, yeah, I, for tech time dig there, I've been because before that I went there and I when the grass was thick, that was maybe a year prior, mm -hmm. and all I found was like a, a iron loop. But this time I uh, found I saw a Newfoundland twenty cent piece. Uh, a spoon ring, oh, and uh, a a pewter button from the seventeen hundreds. All right, on. It, was just, it was just incredible, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that far from where you are now? Like, is, like... Uh, yeah, it, it's quite a bit of distance. Uh, oh, okay. uh, I can't give exact the uh, kilometers, but it's but over it... two hundred kilometers from oh, uh, okay. where I live to and ran mall to St. John's. Oh, Capital, so it's quite Atlanta. yeah, it's quite a trip. Yep. Are there many so people? It's worth it. Are there many people? Um, like, have you ever run into someone metal detecting? Like, are there, is, is that a, a big hobby in Newfoundland or, or where you are? Uh, not really. Uh, there's, uh, like I said, uh, the Digna Rock group, we have over 700 members now. And uh, I guess most of, most of the members have detectors. But uh, besides for that, there isn't, I've never really seen a whole lot of people uh, detecting. <laughs> <laughs> really wow mm. well that that's good because there's more stuff for you to find <laughs> exactly i'll just wait and say that yeah <laughs> i mean I, i'm uh besides for maybe a couple people that are not really into uh detecting as i am i'm uh, on random mom i'm pretty much the only person on random mom that detects as much really? as, uh wow you know that's pretty cool you got the whole island to um, yourself pretty much Pretty much. Wow, that's pretty only, cool. Only thing is, like the the places I want to go, uh, the only fishing way to get there, like like I said, East Ramon, that's where most of the band the band settlements and communities are. The only fishing way to get there is by boat. Ah, uh, hmm. You you got to so find a friend with a boat. Get... <laughs> what? You got to find a friend with a boat. <laughs> oh yeah, my actually my my buddy does have a boat there, and they took me to a couple of the places in the eastern portion of the dome. Right on, right on. That the, that'll make for some good uh, good video for sure. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, if I uh, if we can, the summer I'd like to go to Randmond's oldest uh, summer, which is called Rogers Harbor, mm -hmm. which uh, was established in 1760. Wow! And then abandoned under mysterious reasons in the 1870s. Wow! Wow, a lot of history so, out there. Oh, indeed. Yeah, a lot of history. So much history. Wow, right on. So, a lot of people don't really know about the, the history of Imran Mon and the yeah. new plant itself. Mm -hmm. There's just so much, so yeah. much history. Yeah, totally agree with you on that. Is there, are there is there anyone that you'd like to collab with, if you could? Oh, I, I would love to collab with anybody. <laughs> 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 if, they, if they have a mutual uh, 
interest in metal detecting, I, I would love to collaborate with them. All right. <laughs> Especially if they could bring me to a good uh, a good spot. Uh, okay. <laughs> or, or, or I could bring them to a good spot. Well, it's Actually, you know what, Norm? It sounds like pretty much any spot on your island is a good spot. Oh, yeah. There, there's, a, there's a lot of places that I can go <laughs> to. Some places I got to ask for permission because, you know, the there's an old house on that land. Uh, uh, so yeah. they're, they're knocking the door, asking me to go run around. Usually yeah. they'll let you do it. Uh-huh. Wow, right on. Um, I forgot to say hello to um, Detecting Okanagan. Um, so, hello. <laughs> hello, Paul. Thank you for joining. Uh, my goodness. So, Norm, I'm going to ask you some... Uh, we're kind of getting to the end of the stream here. I'm going to kind of ask you some probably not metal detecting questions, but uh, I ask people them anyway. So, um, what is your... Do you have a favorite chocolate bar? A favorite chocolate bar? Hmm. That is a... Good question. <laughs> so I, I can pretty much. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not a very picky person. I can, you're not a picky. Really, uh, you're, okay. I can pretty much uh, eat anything. But anyway, uh, if I were to guess, Mars. I love Mars bars. Really. Mm. Okay. Okay. What about potato chips? What's your favorite flavor of potato chips? I would say, well, I'm really into spice stuff, so uh, maybe jalapeno cheddar. Oh, oh, very nice, very mm. nice. Right on, right on. Is mm. there, is there a relic? Is there a relic that you would be like, that you would like to dig that you haven't dug yet? That you're just like, I guess your bucket lister or white whale or whatever it is that people want to call it. Is there something that just like? Oh, oh yes. What is gold it? Gold ring. Ah. I would love to find gold because I haven't found gold yet in all my nine years of detecting, right? So uh, if I find one of those, I'll be over the moon. <laughs> so I, I don't think, what's your current detector? Uh, Nocta Macro Simplex. Oh, you're using a Simplex. Ah, okay. So yeah. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, that's, yeah, I, I, I know. <laughs> what would you say is your best find ever? Doesn't matter if it's a coin, a relic, whatever. What's your best find? Something hmm. that like you're still excited about? Yeah, I do have a quite a few best finds, but <laughs> um, that, that's actually a really good question. I really gave them much thought, but uh, I think a few three years ago, it was right before I made my channel. I dug up a uh, a silver uh, child's hat ring from the early 1900s. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, that that might be my favorite find. That's but, very uh, nice. Also, I found a lot of good stuff a uh, bit uh, more last year, 2020. Mm -hmm. That also could be considered uh, my favorite find. Like I found, <laughs> a, found a musket backplate. Like oh, plate. I think I saw you dig that one. That's that is a cool, cool relic. That is a cool relic. And, Oh yeah, and in the same spot, I found a uh, a serpent brooch. Down there also might be my favorite uh, wow. relic. That's a uh, really freaky serpent brooch. Yeah, right on. Wow, that's really yeah. cool. That is really see stuff like that. It's a, that, I mean, it's nice to dig coins and stuff, but like the the musket backplate and stuff like that, like that's history, right? And you gotta like wonder who the poor schmuck was that mm. was walking by there or shot or whatever mm. that you know that belongs to oh i know i mean uh and that was uh, found at a very little known uh cove located here in random island it's called sam cove and that's where 1860s sam factory is there and when i went there i said well it's, well, it's, a, it's a sam factory it's probably going to be like a lot of orange or a lot of cans turns mm -hmm. out there was also a homestead there wow so it found like a lot of stuff related to a, a home there as well right yeah yeah, that's that, that, that was that was I think that was one of the most surprising locations I've ever been to. In terms really? Of like Have you been there mind. since? Uh, no, but I would love to go there again. <laughs> right on. Um, uh, yep. Have you have you ever dug anything? Like some people dig like voodoo jars or anything like that. Have you ever dug anything that was kind of you know like that? <laughs> oh, like like curse? Yeah, like mm. you know. Voodoo-ish, black magic, <laughs> anything like that. The only thing I could think of was that surfer brooch. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. I mean, aside from that, I mean, everything was pretty, you know, you know, normal. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I guess. Now, if um, 
If money was no object, if money was no object, is there is there a metal detector you would like to try or buy, or are you pretty content with um, with your simplex? Oh, I'm more than content with my simplex. Do, do, does everything that I need a detector do? Yeah. Because I mean, it's waterproof, and I uh, when I buy it, I, 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 the only reason why I bought it because I wanted a waterproof detector that was relatively cheap. Yeah. Little did I know it was actually a, a really good all rounder. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty content with the simplex. I'm mean, I wouldn't mind trying the more uh, expensive detectors like the Monlad CTX thirty thirty and mm -hmm. maybe a... the XV uh, Deus. Ah, uh, yeah, that's yeah. Mm. <laughs> the the thirty thirty mm. is a beast. Is a beast, Norm. Oh yeah, indeed it is. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> is a beast. <laughs> My goodness, mm. um, Norm. Did you ever think? Did you ever think in 2017 when you created your YouTube channel? That it would be like you're you're pushing you're pushing a thousand. I think you got eight hundred and something. You're like well on your way to a thousand. Did you ever the think? Stream, I got uh, eight eight hundred and sixty five, which is way more than what I ever thought I would get. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember when my when my channel went from like twenty to one hundred, and that's uh, when I, uh, I I shared a video of me finding the. Uh, a Newfoundland Regiment hat badge in the band settlement here in Grand Mm-hmm. Yes. That was an extremely uh, amazing find because it was a lot, a lot of like a sentimental value to me as a Newfoundlander because whoever wore that badge was part of the Newfoundland Regiment, which uh, in World War One lost a lot of its uh, members. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it's the history again. You see that just. That get that stuff gets me. It 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 like it just gets me. <laughs> like that's, I think oh, yeah, that's what no, metal right. detecting's all about is the history. Oh, that that's why I love it so much because the the history factor of it, and also the you, you just don't know what you're going to be finding, right? Yeah. So yeah. The, the 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 element of surprise, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and you're you are totally like in a fantastic location to be finding historical stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, the only place that can play uh, Trump Newfoundland is England, or any place over that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you think about it, yeah, when you put it that way, yeah. Because uh, when Newfoundland was, uh, it was several Europeans well, it was founded in uh, 1497, well, by the, uh, John Cabot, Gio Giovanni Caboto. <laughs> but actually, uh, I think. 500 years or so or 400 years before that it was uh, actually discovered by the vikings in the northern portion of uh newfoundland yeah i mean that's like incredible history absolutely incredible and, history oh yeah and uh, we have uh, we did have indigenous uh people native to the island uh, called the biothic right but they uh, unfortunately oh. went extinct in the early 1800s i did not know that i didn't mm. know that interesting wow really cool so the bottom line is norm you are like i said you're pushing you got eight 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 hundred something you're in the eight hundred and somethings um i think i saw what it, what it what, what was it i well you're over 800 anyways you're pushing you're pushing a thousand um and i i'm gonna ask that those people watching right now um Check out some of his videos. Like I said, he has some amazing videos, lots of historical finds. Um, yep. Check out some of his videos, comment, and um, I'm pretty sure that you'll uh, you'll want to subscribe to Random Island Norm. And Norm, maybe I one mean, day my, we can celebrate your yeah. thousand. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I can't wait because uh, when you reach a thousand subs, you can make image posts, correct? You can do a lot of things with a thousand songs. Oh yeah, because you know I like uh, post pictures of my finds on my uh, Instagram, you know, and Twitter, whatnot. Mm -hmm. I like the, I also do the same on YouTube with the old uh, image post uh, thing when I get to, to a thousand s subscribers. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So so Norm, yeah, you just mentioned them. Uh, how do people? How can people follow your adventures on social media? Well, I mean. Uh, like I said, I like, I like posting up uh, pictures of uh, the location I'm at and some of the finds that mm -hmm. I found detected, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I post up on Facebook, Instagram, and, of course, Twitter. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, like, 
on Twitter, I got over 400 followers. On Instagram, I, got, I ran 150. Mm-hmm. Right on. This is a section. Not bad. <laughs> that's 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 not bad at all. Right on, right on. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so you can follow Norm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, if you want to see Mel Penton Farms in beautiful locations, uh, that's the uh, place to go. Right on, right on. My Instagram or right Twitter. On. Right on. Nick, thank right? you for posting the um, the link to Norm's channel in the uh, in the chat. Mm. I do appreciate that. Mm. Um, so what's next for Norm? What's next for Norm? What's next for Random Island Norm? What's next for your channel? Do you have any plans or what's going on? No, I don't really have any plans. Like, well, such for uh, possible locations I want to go to in, uh, during the when the snow melts. Mm-hmm. Right on. Some, maybe some new locations, some old, really old locations. Mm-hmm. Right on. Good stuff. Good I stuff. Ponder, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Norm, you are at 875 right now. How about that? Steve Shepard just said that. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. 875. 875. Norm, oh. I'm going to ask you for when you hit that 100, uh, come back so we can have a little bit of a online party. <laughs> Oh, yeah, totally. Right on. Good stuff. Good stuff. A little bit of a celebration, right? For sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, right on. So, Norm, um, we are at we are at the end of this show. Um, any parting words? <laughs> I'm the, just going to say uh, thanks so much for uh, having me on your live stream. Uh, thanks so much, uh, everybody, uh, for watching uh, this, uh, this interview, this chat. I uh, really appreciate it. Don't forget to, uh, of course, check out my videos. I mean, got, if you like exploration, metal detecting, and outdoorsy type videos, then my channel got it. I mean, <laughs> and of course, Newfoundland culture, Newfoundland scenery, the Newfoundland accent. <laughs> it's all there. Got to <laughs> say, no, got to say, Norm, <laughs> there's a couple words that you said today that I'm like, I don't know what he just said, but I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> oh, man, if I, if I was uh, like drinking a bit, <laughs> uh, my accent will be uh, just like in their language. <laughs> oh my Guaranteed. god! Guaranteed. That's the hey. Does Newfoundland have like, like screech or anything that a drink that is just uh, uh, like a Newfoundland drink? What is it? Well, we have Newfoundland screech, but that that's actually a um, Jamaican rum. But oh. when it was imported here, I guess they call it Newfoundland screech. Oh. But uh, we do have our own uh, beers. We got like a uh, Black Horse beer and a uh, Jack Club, which is, a lot of people are not a big fan of. Huh. But we also have like a lot of like a local draft beer you can mm. get. Mm-hmm. Right on. Like uh, at, at St. John's, there's a, a draft beer company called Quitty Vitty Brewery, and they make some pretty uh, good draft beers. Mm-hmm. Right on. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, it's Sunday morning, we're talking about alcohol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Newfoundland is a culture is also centered around alcohol as well, right? Uh, like, uh, a lot of like Newfoundlanders to take after, we got like a lot of Irish blood, a lot of English blood. Mm-hmm. Yes, like, yes. My, my ancestors came from uh, Britain and Ireland. Ah, so. okay. Mm-hmm. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense with your accent. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean... We're around Ireland, and when we're in Ireland, they're kind of like uh, separated from the other, you know, <laughs> kind, of, kind of keep the, the accents and stuff yes. like that. So. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right. Um, Norm, um, thank you. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Um, oh, like yes, I, and thanks so much for having me oh on my goodness. the live Appreciate it. I've totally <laughs> wanted to have you on for a while, and I'm glad that we were able to... Uh, Glad we were able to get everything aligned and and have you on the show. I really, really, really appreciate that. Oh yeah, I uh, this is this wonderful wonderful experience uh, chatting with you and right on. On the live stream and seeing everybody uh, watching the uh, right chat. On. I mean, incredible. Right on. All right, Norm. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say goodbye to you and then I'm going to um, wrap up the show. So thank you, Norm, and um. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> oh, yeah, you too. I mean, and uh, everybody else, of course. Uh, have a wonderful and fantastic day. I mean, it's a beautiful day uh, here where I'm to in Newfoundland, so I'm probably lucky to be going outside uh, pretty soon. Right on. But, uh, yeah. Right on. 
Have a great day, Thanks. Norm. Have a great day. Yep. Uh, yep. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, see you later. Right. In. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see ya. All right. <laughs> My, my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. That was, that was a random island norm. My goodness. Um, yeah, seriously, there were some, yeah, the accent's not like overbearing, but uh, there were a couple words where I'm like, I have absolutely no idea what he just said. <gasps> oh my goodness. Um, wow, these headphones are like, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. All right. So, um, that looks like it is going to be it for today. Um, next Sunday will be a regular coffee with Liz. And then the week after will be a, another chat with, and I will be announcing the guest next week. So until then, I hope that, I hope that, um, you stay safe, uh, yeah, we had some people in the chat today saying that um, their loved ones either had COVID or they themselves had COVID. So um, let's all be safe. Let's all do what we have to do. Let's eradicate this because seriously, I want travel restrictions lifted. I want to travel again. I want to meet you all. I want to dig with you all. And and I'm sure that you feel the very same way. Um, until next week. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have not hit the like button on this stream, please remember to do so as you exit the building. Um, I'll see you all. Uh, I'll see you all on the tube, as Riser says. Enjoy the rest of your day. Get your official Diggy Connect merchandise at Teespring. Mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, and more. Remember that every purchase you make helps to support the channel. Check out the link in the description down below.